Hi, I'm Julia Langley, Faculty Director of the Georgetown Lombardi Arts and Humanities Program, coming to you with a report on 2020. Well, it was quite a year. 2020 was the year we went virtual, and the way that we did that is by creating these wonderful newsletters. The things that the artists used to do in the hospital, create music, movement, expressive writing and visual art, they started doing for our newsletter. Throughout the year, we've seen some incredible posts. We started the year with a mailing list of about 500 subscribers. We've doubled that at the end of 2020. And I think the most exciting thing to know is how far reaching our newsletters have become. Some of our posts have been liked by people all over the world. We started having the artists do what they did best, but then we quickly expanded our newsletters to include voices of our community. Voices of people outside our community, the student community. And so we're very pleased about how that grew into a real community forum for people to talk about health and wellness and to offer blessings and wishes for our frontline workers, our patients, our caregivers, and everyone. From the newsletters, we decided to start offering classes, ended up again being people from around the world who came to take art classes, knitting classes, and expressive writing classes. We will continue to offer those in 2021. They were so well received. We're very happy to be able to have been able to continue our partnership with the Department of Neurology and offer movement for multiple sclerosis classes online. Uh, we're very happy to have been able to continue our partnership with the palliative medicine team. They have staff who were able to take HIPAA enabled iPads to patient rooms where the, our musicians could connect with patients in real time and play music and have a conversation just like the old days with the iPad in the middle. Also, movement artist Carrie Monger is able to have a live stretch break one day a week with a unit on the fifth floor of MedStar because they figured out how to connect their computer to a TV monitor and their staff can have a live stretch break. Lots of wonderful things were able to happen in 2020, even though the way we worked was completely turned upside down. We are, of course, hoping that in 2021, we will be back in the hospital and able to work in the way that we prefer, but we will always push forward and try and be incorporated into telehealth because our strong belief always has been and always will be that the arts are central to healing and to wellness. Now, as we move into 2021, we are dedicated to continue to pushing the boundaries of what can be done virtually to help people have a creative and constructive way of dealing with illness and also to promote wellness. Bon appetit. On behalf of the artists, I want to thank all of you for your support during 2020, for your interest in our program. Uh, we'll have some big announcements coming in 2021. In the meantime, we all hope you have the most healthy and happy holidays, and we look forward to seeing you very soon.